I really like how they're adding the whole time breaking around the Wave Rider. I do think Amaya is like the next best captain. I mean, I love Ray, but he has trouble making decisions sometimes. I mean, I wouldn't expect anything differently. <laughs> Honestly, I did that exact same thing today. I didn't want someone to speak to me. I was like, please don't, please don't. And then it, it still happened. I think if I was anybody on the ship, I'd be Zari. The totem was never passed down to her. So Mari is officially without her totem. Oh, wow. That's not good. Well, we're shipping you so hard. That's why you're leaving. I hate Gary. I wonder if we're going to find out what, or, you know, what Ava's secret is. Because that would be really awesome. Oh, I saw that. That's Kuasa. What the? Nope, nope. Oh, don't got her. Water. Can't really catch. <laughs> yes, Wally! Uh, Penny here just baked up a storm of her famous cookies. This really this doesn't seem I, Yeah, even Sarah's like almost too perfect. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. What? <laughs> He's just so. Everything goes right over his head. Oh, what? Hi. Yes. I want. Yay! I wanted her to work with the legends, and it's happening. Holy wow, that looks so cool. You know what's really great is the fact that they get to say they're in Vancouver because they shoot this in Vancouver. Oh, what? Huh? What? <laughs> Advanced, very... Wow. We're gonna find out as much as we possibly can because what the hell? I love you, Nathaniel. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Now my question is, is Ava just another clone or is she the original? Whoa. That looks very similar. Very similar to something that was used in S.H.I.E.L.D. last season. God. <laughs> wow, that was really badass and yeah. Hey, oh, no, um, Nora doesn't look. Yay, this worked. Okay. I think no, no, no. I think Ava believes that she's. Human. Oh god, another one? Gary, that's Ava. What does he mean another one? Yeah, see, it's she doesn't know. Oh my god. Yeah, obviously she doesn't know. Dark doesn't look I mean he doesn't he doesn't look too happy about Nora's new look. Yes! I love Damien Dark so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's a, okay, yeah. You, I mean, he deserved it a little bit. He's not my grandfather. Every moment that you spend with him is a threat really? to the entire family's future. I'll be very disappointed if my theory's wrong. It's no wonder this totem ended up with Mari and not you. You're beyond redemption. Whoa! Ouch! Shots fired. There's gonna be an army of Avas! There's gonna be an army of Avas! It's them.
Rip, what did you do? Like, <laughs> yeah. You asked for a steel boy. Was that good? Really good. Really good. A bit this time. Wally, what? <gasps> Kid Flash suit. What? Uh, do you just please tell me he did not just lose his speed? Oh, okay, just lightning. Fucking, I was about to be real pissed. Whoa. That's. Oh no! Fuck! Nora! Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Real Ava! Yeah, Ray! Killing it! I love that man. Oh, it turned blue. Oh, she looks scared. Come on, Amaya, kill it! I mean, I don't want nowhere to die. <laughs> oh, what a power couple. Wow, she's just mega powerful. Oh, I hope she doesn't. You have your father and my grandmother. She's gonna die. She's gonna die in front of Amaya, and I'm not gonna like it. Oh my. F are you kidding me right now? Oh, I knew it. I just said it, and I don't like it. No, you gotta go, you can't. Wow. What is Damien gonna have? What is it? Oh. That's crazy how they felt it. Because it's Rip Hunter. Amaya, Amaya. Oh, you're gonna fuck up history. This is not good at all. That was season three, episode 16 of Legends of Tomorrow. Wow. <laughs> what an episode. I really liked it. I think I'll be saying that for the rest of the season because it's Legends of Tomorrow. The very beginning of the episode we have Sarah leaving because of everything that just happened with the death totem and breaking up with Ava kind of like messed up with her wires in her head. And it was a lot to deal with until Gary came with news on the trip saying that Ava has been missing from work for a couple days and, they, and he needs Sarah and Ray's help in order to find Ava. So they investigate and do this stuff and they find on a computer that in 20, in the year 2213 in Vancouver, it is, it is blacklisted basically you can't go there and that's exactly what Sarah and crew do and they go there and all of a sudden they start to see people that look a little familiar they start to see other Avas so that is the secret I assume because duh that Rip was keeping from Sarah the whole delete file three whatever blah 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 and it seems to be that Ava is a artificial intelligence clone that is here to help people. And why Rip decide to go back to or go into the future and take one of these clones and use it and everything like that for the Bureau and every... I, I just don't understand. And also, why would he wipe... I mean, I understand he'd wipe her memory, but you... I don't know. I guess we'll get more answers next week if we have Rip, because it kind of... I mean, the end of the episode kind of alluded to uh, getting answers from Rip because Sarah, after this big awesome fight with a whole bunch of other Avas, they ended up back on the ship and there was this nice moment between those two. I don't know what the future holds for them as a couple, but I, I liked how they ended things this episode. Although her plans to leave and take a break were quickly tarnished, she left Amaya in charge and Amaya was basically like, okay, you know, 
everything's good, everything's good, until she found out that her granddaughter was burned, I think, in a fire, that she was trying to help and save people, because she, as time cements, since Amaya doesn't have her totem, that means her granddaughter doesn't get her totem, and that allows her to get hurt more often, so she sent Wally and Nate to go see if she was alright, and even though we didn't see her, she is going to be alright, but that's when we also saw Kuasa trying to protect her family, and there was this whole deal exchange thing team up kind of with Kuasa, Wally, and Nate and Kuasa and Nate went and d decided to bring Nate to the darks and was like hey I captured but we need the totem back and that's what happened except Kuasa was like fuck you Nate and left and everything and just basically betrayed Nate and then we had this really funny scene with Damien and Nate basically Damien was Damien is losing his daughter and he can see that and he's like I don't want to I don't want to lose my one reason for wanting to destroy the world. What's the fun in that? What's the point in that? So they, it was just the torture. The fake torture scene was incredible, but that's when Nora came back in. Everything got really sad very quickly because after this big power fight with Amaya, Wally, and not really Nate and all this stuff, uh, Nora ripped the the totem from Kuasa's chest and Kuasa died. I don't know if that means she's gonna permanently die because Amaya at the very end of the episode decided to go back to 1992 to help. That's gonna change so much. You know, I'm excited to see what happens. But at the same time, you can't, I really, okay. The whole thing about like, cause Kuasa said that she was trying to save her family and that Nate isn't her grandfather, but I'm just, I, I don't see it being another person. So maybe she's wrong or maybe she lied. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next week that when she go back in time, she sees an old Nate. You know, that would be really cool. We also had a little bit of a side story with Zari and Mick and I just... I love, I like their dynamic, that was really cool to see, and I like how that by the end of their training session, Zari just had Mick, f like, woo floating, and just basically done with everything, but that's when they felt that Kuasa died, and it's interesting the fact that, I mean, obviously the totems are all connected, but they could actually feel someone die, it must have been crazy, but they bonded, and I liked it, and I'm excited for more of their friendship. Other than that, Thank you all for watching this episode of Legends with me. I'm excited for next week. If you want to see my previous reaction, all you have to do is click the link in the description. And as always, I will see you next time.